Many people think they know what an atomic bomb is. But do they know what a nuclear bomb is? What about a thermonuclear bomb? Or even a neutron bomb? What about a hydrogen bomb? Are they all the same? This video will tell you. We'll start out with nuclear. Nuclear bombs are a type of bomb that uses nuclear reactions to release power. The advantage of these bombs is that they are capable of releasing huge amounts of energy from a very small amount of stuff. For example, Fat Man, dropped on Nagasaki during World War II, had a blast yield of some 21 kilotons. Thermonuclear, neutron, and atomic bombs are all types of nuclear bombs. Atomic bombs are nuclear bombs that use fission. This means that they get energy through splitting heavy elements, which releases very large amounts of energy. There are two types of atomic bombs, gun assemblies and implosion assemblies. Gun assemblies work through shooting one fissile material, such as uranium-235, at a piece of that same element and isotope. An isotope is an element with a different number of neutrons than elements of the same atomic number. The implosion assembly uses high explosive lenses to combine a fissile material. The problem with fission or atomic bombs is that the weapon is usually destroyed before all the fissile material can react. For example, Little Boy had an efficiency of about 1.4%. Enter thermonuclear bombs also known as hydrogen bombs. They use fusion, which means that they can derive energy from combining elements. The primary design of the H-bomb was created by Edward Teller and Stanislaw Ulam. The Teller-Ulam design has, in the top of the bomb, a fission bomb in an implosion assembly. When this detonates, it releases many X-rays and gamma rays. This energy compresses a spark plug and fusion fuel, which causes the spark plug to fission, which will in turn cause fusion fuel to further heat and compress. This high temperature and pressure causes fusion, which releases much energy. This energy induces more fission, so a thermonuclear bomb can have almost half of its energy come from fission rather than fusion. These bombs are called hydrogen bombs because the fusion fuel they use is usually tritium and deuterium. Tritium and deuterium can be placed in fission reactions to boost them. And tritium and deuterium are also isotopes of hydrogen, hence hydrogen bombs. A neutron bomb is a thermonuclear bomb that has a very thin outer casing so that much radiation will be released but not a huge blast. This will cause very high casualty numbers, but lower destruction. A different sort of high casualty bomb could be created through placing cobalt or gold in the bomb, which would make long-lived radioactive particles and render the place bombed contaminated for very long periods of time. These weapons are known as salted bombs. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe. Also, what do you think I should do for an upcoming video? Tell me in the comments. Thanks.